up y'all welcome to sports lies and hollywood episode two this is where you come to hear all of the sports tea sports behind the uh, scenes stories stories that you may not have ever found out about or may not have known about until i stepped on the scene thank god for me <laughs> this is where you're going to come to get all of the sports uh, tea past and present. Now, today, we got to go get my man, LeBron James. So this is a story uh, involving LeBron James. Now, this story took place, LeBron James had got had signed with Miami. Remember, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. First year. The first year, it probably was no more than the third or fourth game. <laughs> right? And LeBron found out that Miami ain't Cleveland. And it's a totally different animal. So... Involved in this story, we got Bobby Britannia. We got, who was a um, urban model. We got Hensha Voigt, formerly of WAGS, um, Miami. At that time, I think she was going by the name of Miss Flintstone. And we have a very good friend of mine, Miss Sincerely Ward. Now, the only reason why I'm putting Sincerely into the video is because her name was mentioned, you know, in some of the stuff we're going to be talking about. But I can say, I can disclose that I am never was able to confirm whether Sincerely, you know, actually took place in the shenanigans. Um, from what I was told, she went home, but we'll get to that. So, LeBron James, of course, doesn't know his way around Miami yet. Dwayne Wade does. Dwayne Wade is Wade County. So, Dwayne Wade knows Simply Jess, who is a big-time uh, party promoter and rumored to be Madame. <laughs> we'll just say, Allegedly. But she's a big time pipe, probably the biggest pipe promoter at this moment in, in the Florida area. So there is a few women that get sent up to LeBron's skybox. So I believe they went to the game. They're in LeBron's skybox. And and immediately. Bobby Britannia starts tweeting, letting people know that they're in LeBron's skybox. Right? Now, she tweeted, LeBron sent his fiance home after the game. Now, <laughs> people are, are like, who is this shit now? You know, people that's on the scene knew about Barbie Britannia. She was known back in the day. You know, I'm not going to say back in the day. We're talking like early 2000s. This is mid-2000s. She was known as a Jersey chaser. She was known as people, uh, someone who got with a lot of rappers and athletes. And um, she had been with Fab, allegedly, and Fab's crew. Right, and then you know a few other basketball players. She was pretty known, and she's tweeting and she's taunting Savannah, saying um, LeBron's baby mom is whack, and this, that, and the other. <laughs> so she's making it known that she is chilling, you know, with LeBron, and she's got her girlfriends there. They're tweeting who's there. At the party, so they go over the mansion. 
They go over to Mansion, right? That's a uh, club out in in Florida. And shout out to Mansion because I had to call my man and find out who used to work there. And obviously turns out, actually turned out somebody that I, I know anyway. And they confirmed the story for me. So they're at Mansion. LeBron's there. He's got the, these, these chicks there, Barbie Britannia, Ms. Flintstone, uh, Sincerely Ward. And um, there may have been a, another chick there, I'm not sure, or simply Jess may have been there, but those are ones I definitely can confirm. And again, she is out putting this out there. Now, LeBron, unaware of how these chicks in Miami get down, Next thing you know, he's got people calling him. Like, yo, get up out that club. You know what I mean? Like, it's all over social media. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I mean? And at this time, the only good thing was Savannah wasn't really into Twitter. This is when Twitter was, was popping. Savannah wasn't really into Twitter. But this woman is dissing Savannah. And they put down on, on the, uh, in the tweet, you know where the next stop is. Like, you know, trying to insinuate they going to, his, to the hotel. So, from what I was told, LeBron left out of that, left out of mansion with Barbie Britannia. And at least one other female. Now, my boy that I spoke to says he can't, he does not remember sincerely leaving with them. Sincerely may have, you know, stayed on or whatever. Because Sincerely liked Mansion. He said, if I remember correctly, I think Sincerely stayed back. He said, um, if I remember correctly. But LeBron went out of left out of there with, with Barbie Britannia and another chick. At least one other girl. And a lot of these tweets are gone from Twitter. I'm sure if you do a deep search you can find them. But these tweets that are still left, I put them up there. Um because I believe LeBron then again was seen out or uh, did he seen out in a club with with uh, Barbie Britannia. And then after that, Barbie Britannia kind of like faded out. She was getting dragged on social media. People were saying they're going to tell something. <laughs> and I mean, LeBron just didn't know how to navigate in Miami. He found out like, man. And all of those women, for people who say LeBron don't mess with, with black women, all of those girls were black. All of those girls were black. And they couldn't, they snitching before the cock even got in. They were snitching. Maybe that's why anybody else he was perceived, presumed to be messing with wasn't black. <laughs> Maybe he didn't feel as though they didn't keep quiet. But I mean, you know... <laughs> Barbie Britannia was singing, boy. She was singing like Diana Ross. Saying what they going to be doing and this, that, and the thing. Then she had people going back and forth on her on Twitter. She was saying something. She made a comment like, oh, don't worry. He, he's too small for me anyway. Or something like that. Made a comment about LeBron not being big enough for her. But she's still going to go back to his spot with him or something like that. And then said, oh, his wife don't have to worry. We'll, we'll send him home afterwards. Or something, something along those lines. But needless to say, after that time, Bobby Britannia was never seen or soon to be seen with LeBron again. And one of the main reasons why LeBron left Cleveland, allegedly, is that Savannah threatened to divorce him. If he didn't leave Miami. 
They had a lot of issues, allegedly, marriage-wise, when he was in Miami. But them women were relentless. <laughs> oh, man. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. This has been Sports Life and Hollywood. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll catch you on the next one.